Well, hello, pizza lovers. Today I find myself out in the Walpole area. I don't think I'm gonna be out here um, anytime soon. So I ordered a pizza from Crisp. I am on my way there, uh, low on gas. Uh, and I ordered the typical bacon and mushroom. They told me 15 minutes and my GPS says I'm up about 15 minutes away. So find out if the pizza is ready when I get there. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you're enjoying these videos, just hit the subscribe button down there. I'm trying to get the subscription up to about 100 followers if I could. Getting there slowly. We keep adding maybe 5 or 10 a week. Hopefully we can add another 5 or 10 this week or more. And if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up too. It helps the, the algorithms or whatever it does there for YouTube. And it makes the video be available for other people that are searching for pizza reviews or what have you. So let's go try Chris. So they're just cleaning up from the accident, but it looks like we still got a detour. All right, I'm a few minutes late because there was a accident and I had to take a detour. So it added about four minutes, but here we are. All right, the pizza was ready. Like I said, I was about four minutes late, so if it's not right out of the oven, it's my fault. But let's flip this camera around. Okay, you can see some burnt edges already, which again, I just ordered it the way they do it. Let's take a look. Already I can see, man, the bacon is big chunks of bacon. Mushrooms look good, good distribution. Oh, this looks like a good pizza. Undercarriage, cooked, thin. Some flop, which again, we've talked about this. I like a little flop. Sauce looks like a, like, light sauce, which is typical in these bar pizzas. So let's try it out. I'm excited about this one. This looks good. That is good. This is a good pizza. Oh boy. Really good crunch. Thin crust. Cooked perfectly. Man, the bacon is really good. Mushrooms are good. Wow. Now, this video happens to be my 11th video. So as you know, I'm trying to find the top 10. Um, my own list of top 10 pizzas. Or I should say, South Shore Bar style pizzas. And I gotta tell you, this is knocking somebody off the list. Cause I only had 10 that I've visited so far. This is a good pizza. Very light on sauce. Personally, I would like a teeny bit more sauce, but I mean, we're talking minute. This is a solid pizza. People are, have been uh, saying to come here. I see why. Excellent pizza. Cheese seems to be all cheddar. 
100% chopped cheddar, I think. Like I said, sauce is light. Toppings are, are so good. This bacon, oh. Unreal. The bacon is the highlight of this pizza. If you like bacon as a topping, this will not disappoint you. Mushrooms are good too, but the bacon is still on the show. Okay, so I'm more than halfway through this pizza. What I will say is the place, I mean, it was, it was fine. It had uh, Montilio's, which actually I meant to get a whoopie pie. I forgot. Um, ended up just focusing on the pizza, I picked up the pizza, but they had Montilio's there. Um, which you could pick up. But the place, as far as atmosphere, wasn't really a bar. It was more like a, uh, just a standard, like, pizza shop. They did have, uh, beer and wine. I didn't notice if they had mixed drinks or anything, but, but it was just you'd order at the counter, I think. I don't think it had table service, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but... Not really a place I would consider a bar. More of a, just a pizza shop that has a beer and wine. Uh, so I wouldn't be going there for the bar atmosphere anyway. Their pizza, very good. As I'm eating it, I'm trying to analyze everything. Crust is very good. Has some chew to it. As you can see, it had flop. I personally like the crust like this. It's not the authentic Linwood cracker crust, if that's what you're looking for. It's their own. It's thin. It's very good. It's buttery. And they lace the edges without asking for them. I gotta stop and get gas. So, I'm pumping gas but I can't let this pizza go um, uneaten. I'll eat it with my left hand. I touch, touch the pump with my right. Man, look at the chunks of bacon on them. Look at that. Last piece. So, I covered the crust bacon is bomb. Mushrooms are good. Cheese is 100% cheddar, very good. Sauce though, that's where, for me, very, very light on sauce. It's very light. I would like a teeny bit more. I'd be afraid to ask for extra sauce though. I wouldn't want too much sauce either. I just want a little bit more. What I can taste, I like. Just simple tomato sauce. I don't know. I just want to try it again to find out if I get a teeny bit more sauce because it has a little more. All right, gas is done. Hand sanitizer time. Uh, Chris from Walpole. Excellent pizza. It's definitely going to take a spot in the top 10 right now. As we stand, we only have 11 places. Somebody has to go. I'll tell you who's not going. O'Toole's, Linwood, Deanne's. It's going to stay. So then I got uh, Spencer's. Spencer's will stay, I'm sure. I think. I mean, I'm only up to 11. And as we know, there's somewhere between 70 and 100 places to, to try. I think where I'm having a hard time, believe it or not, I know it's a heavyweight, Poopsies, but I think Poopsies is going to stay on the top 10 for now. Spence's probably going to stay for now. 
and then I got the uh, TKOs. If I remember correctly, they were good, but I didn't think at the time that they would be top 10 worthy um, when I was all done with all, with all, all of this. But are they going to be dropped out of the top 10 right now? They might be. So I will list the top 10 at the end of this video. If you've watched this video all the way through till now, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Make some comments. For the love of pizza, I will see you next time on my mission to uh, to find the, my top 10. So, so far there's been no problem because I've only tried 10, they were all in the top 10. Now we have 11, someone must go. So I will, uh, I'll put a list of the top 10. I'm not gonna tell you who, who got dropped off of it. I'm just gonna put the, the top 10 list. You'd have to go through all my videos to find out what other place I tried that is not on the list. I already listed a good amount of them, so you know. But I am going to compile the list. It will not be in the order of one to 10. It'll just be the top 10 for now. But I will tell you that Crisp is taking a spot. They're taking a spot. Good stuff over here. Now, the only reason that Chris might not make my final top 10, I'll give you, I'll give you why it might not, but um, would be the, how light the sauce was. That's the only thing I could find on why I might not like it, but I mean, it was, it's right up there. It is definitely, at this point, a top 10 pizza. And then the only other reason that it might drop off is because it's my list. And my list is going to be associated with locations too. Because is it so good that I would drive all the way to Walpole from Abington? I can tell you right now, I don't think that it's that good. I don't know if I'll, I'll drive out this way, but if I was out here, for a uh, football game or something like that, because it's out on route, near Route 1, um, for the Patriots game or something. So if I was out here, maybe when I go get my vaccine at the Patriots place, um, or I might, if I found myself in this area, I would definitely go back and get a pizza. But I also said the same thing about uh, TKOs in Situate. And that had, that had a nicer atmosphere. I would go out to eat at TKO's. I would go to the place. Uh, they also have a more extensive menu. So you could go with, a, um, with people that are not going to get pizza. You could get pizza and they could get something else. Also, TKO's had the, um, the fact that you could dock with your boat. So again, I don't have a boat anymore. But if I get a boat, find myself on a boat, find myself wanting pizza and I'm near situate I'd be going to TKO's so lots of factors here but right now crisp excellent pizza excellent pizza I know why it's on people's actually some people have it as their top pizza place now if I lived out here for sure it would be my top pizza place because every place else I'd have to drive 45 minutes to. So they'd, they'd have it locked up if I lived in Walpole or Foxborough or something um, because it's that good. If you lived right near here, you wouldn't have to drive to go get um, a better pizza. You know, maybe the, some of the places might be slightly better, but... Um, it would be personal choice, that's for sure. But if I lived out here, and this was what I had to choose from for uh, getting South Shore Bar style pizza, I think they would be my number one spot if I lived out here. But I don't live out here. So that's what I'm going to say about that. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to put all the names up. And you'll be able to see my top 10 as of now. Obviously, it's going to change or may change. I don't know. Maybe all the rest of the places that I have to try are no good. But there's a lot of heavy hitters that I haven't done a video on. I have not done Town Spa. I have not done Cape Cod. So I still have some heavy hitters to do. And I have some hidden gems as well to do. I still haven't done Next Page Cafe. I've, I've tried it, but I have not done a video review on it. Uh, just as a disclaimer there. And I have a feeling that they will creep into my top 10 when I do try them. Um, and I have a feeling there's some others out there that are going to creep into my top 10. So this top 10 is going to be ever-changing. And I will scroll the list now. Thanks for watching.